Hello everyone, I hope that you are all well. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be filming my fall or autumn recommendations. So excited to finally be going around to filming autumn themed videos. It's been something that I've been excited about all year. Um, if YouTube or BookTube had a pound for every time someone had said that autumn is their favourite season. But really, I think this time of year, just when the leaves start to turn, and everything starts getting a little bit colder and cosier and crisper and you can kind of like bump out the like warm jackets and the jumpers and the, the tea, the spiced tea and the candles. It really is just one of the best times of the year. I'm really getting into the swing of things here. I've got my candles burning. That's technically a Christmas candle, but that, maybe I've done that the wrong way around. Yeah, that is technically a Christmas candle. This, however, is an apple cinnamon candle, so. And I was gonna make some tea for this. Damn! So I am bringing you some spooky fall-inspired recommendations and my Spookathon TBR. Uh, if you're not sure what Spookathon is, I'll leave the details of the readathon down in the description so that you can check that out. Um, I've really been having the best time going through my shelves trying to pick out things which I really feel capture the spirit of autumn or the kind of like autumn months. Um, um, blah, 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 blah. So I've got some kind of like spooky, creepy horror reads to cater for Halloween towards the end of the month and I've also got some kind of like fairy tale inspired stuff and also some crime in my TBR and I think thrillers and short story collections and all sorts of stuff so I'll dive right in. The first book that I would like to recommend is one that I just finished reading and that is Eileen by Atesha, uh, uh, Atesha Moss Feg, Mosh Feg, Atesha Mosh, the, Tessa Moshveg. This is a really twisted, unsettling, noir literary fiction about a girl named Eileen. And I won't go into too much detail because I do plan on doing a full review on my channel. But what I will say is that this is bizarre, um, brilliant, disturbing, incredibly well written, creepy, and really unlike anything I've ever read before I think. Such a kind of like darker than dark atmospheric gloomy read that is perfect for um, the run up to Halloween and into the winter. This is just such a brilliant book. I really recommend that you read this, you will love it or hate it. I think it's very much a Marmite book but I absolutely loved it and I'll be definitely looking out for a Tessa Moshfegs new release in uh, I think January of next year she has a short story collection coming out which I am now very 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 excited for this was just such a fantastic book I think it's quite likely that this will make it onto my best books of 2016 list I just it's a masterpiece the next book that I would like to recommend is similarly similarly disturbing um, though for very different reasons and that is The End of Alice by A.M. Holmes. I remember being incredibly disturbed and almost traumatised by this book. Um, I wouldn't say it was an enjoyable read but it's definitely spooky, creepy, disturbing, unsettling, nasty, disgusting. <laughs> this does have some incredibly mature themes on it so do be advised. Um, it's quite an upsetting book um, it's written in a way that is very, very sinister. Basically, this novel is set out as correspondence between two paedophiles, one convicted um, middle-aged man who is incarcerated for an assault on a young girl named Alice, and um, a younger teenage girl who is plotting to seduce her um, like child neighbour. Um, and the correspondence goes back and forth between the two, and throughout the novel we kind of gradually come to understand what happened to Alice and it's not very nice. It's chilling and dark and very very sinister and quite upsetting in many ways but if that is the approach that you're taking to kind of spooky reads this autumn then I would definitely recommend A.M. Holmes's The End of Alice. Like I said it's one of those books that you couldn't really say it was enjoyable but I don't think that books have to be enjoyable to make them good books and this is a good book I would say. My third recommendation is a collection of short stories and that is The Bloody Chamber and Other Stories by Angela Carter. This is a collection of fairy tale retellings and it's brilliant. Some of the short stories in this collection are a lot better than others. They're not all as fantastic as some of the ones in the collection, but 
The really, really good ones are really, really good ones. Carter has a very, very unique storytelling kind of style and her language is very, very ornate and kind of like descriptive and poetic and atmospheric, perfect for the kind of like autumn season. It's a perfect kind of dark, brooding, atmospheric, creepy read for around Halloween time. Although I wouldn't have actually said that these are creepy, they're kind of more um, gothic kind of folklore inspired tales. They're great for Halloween time and also if it floats your boat they take a really really brilliant feminist angle on kind of folklore and rehash um, kind of gender roles and expectations in fairy tales and they're great. And my last recommendation before I move on to my Spookathon TBR is an anthology and I don't expect that you'd be able to get through this all in one sitting. I don't think that you would be able to stomach that much of this author. Then it's definitely something that you would rather dip in and out of than read all in one setting and that is The Collected Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. I have had this for such a long time and still I haven't got around to completing. The font is absolutely tiny, it's an incredibly dense book filled with his poetry and his short stories and it's great. There are some absolutely morbid dark classics in here. I just feel like Edgar Allan Poe is the kind of master of spine chilling creepy, morose tales. See what he is known for. They're absolutely perfect for around Halloween time. I feel like this was kind of a cheap pick because when you think of Edgar Allan Poe you just think of kind of like graveyards and ravens and schools and all things kind of like Halloween and creepy and I will definitely be dipping in and out of this this Halloween. Honestly I haven't read as much of this as I would have liked to and I kind of geared towards the stories rather than the poems which is something that I'm hoping to remedy this October around Halloween time. I want to read more of his poetry partly because I have so much on my TBR for Spookathon that I can only really afford <laughs> to fit in like the occasional poem but um, yeah I definitely want to get around to reading some of the stuff that I haven't read from this collection. So that is it for my fall autumn recommendations. I really hope that you enjoyed. Now I'm going to film my Spookathon TBR so keep an eye out for that on my channel. Please let me know if you have read any of the books that I just recommended and what you thought of them and please please let me know if you get around to reading any of them on my recommendation because that would make my day. I really hope that you enjoy them if you do get around to them. So now I'm going to film the second half of this video. I think I need to turn the lights on because I'm a little bit dark <laughs> um, and I'll see you in that one. Bye!